did you get a chance to try out our practice exercises from our Python list video? If you did, great. If not, there's a notebook linked in the description. In this video, we'll go through the solutions step by step. In this problem, our goal is to store and manage a small collection of data, in this case, movie titles, using Python list. Then, we'll access the list items and make a change to one of the items. We start by creating a list called movies, where we write our favorite titles. Each movie title is a string, separated by commas, and together they form one structured container. When we print the list and run the cell, Python displays all the items in the same order we wrote them. Next, we'll use indexing to access individual items. Remember, list indexes start from zero, and negative indexes count from the end of the list starting at negative one. So we can access the first movie using index zero, and the last movie using index negative one. Running this code prints the first and last movie titles separately. Now suppose we want to replace one of the movies in our list. Specifically, we'll change the second movie, Goodwill Hunting, to Princess Bride. To reassign the second movie, we'll access the movies list at index 1. Then, we'll assign it the new value Princess Bride. When we print the updated list, we see that Princess Bride replaces Goodwill Hunting, while the rest of the list remains unchanged. Great, let's move to the second problem. In this exercise, we'll explore slicing, which lets us select specific portions of a list. Then we'll use a few list methods to modify that list. We start by creating a list called friends, containing six names. Now suppose we only want to invite the middle three guests, Charlie, Dana, and Brooke. To select a range of items, we use slicing. Since Charlie is at index two and Brooke is at index four, we'll write two as the slice start index and five as the slice stop index. Then we'll save the slice to a new variable, middle guess, for future use. Remember, Python includes the start index, but excludes the stop index. So this slice returns elements at positions two, three, and four. Printing the middle guess and running the cell, we get exactly those three names. Next, let's make a few updates to our guest list. We have a new guest, Gina, who needs to be added to the list. To add her, we'll use the append method with Gina as the argument. This adds her to the end of the list. After adding Gina, we find out that Alex can't make it, so we'll want to remove him. To remove him, we'll call the remove method and pass Alex as the argument. Running the cell, we can see that Alex is removed. Finally, to keep the list organized, we'll sort it alphabetically using the sort method. When we print the final guest list, we can see that the updated guest list is now sorted alphabetically. Great, let's move on to problem three, where we'll practice combining lists and use a few more list operations to manage them. We'll start by creating two separate lists, Team A and Team B, each containing three names. These represent two different groups of team members. Next, to get the names in a single list, we'll combine the two lists. To do that, we'll use the plus operator, which joins or concatenates the lists. This will create a new list that we can store in a new variable called all members for future use. When we print it, we can see all six names are combined into a single list. Now suppose we have a new member, Mason, joining the team. To add him, we'll use the append method with Mason as the argument. Next, we learn that Olivia is moving to a different project. To remove her from the list, we'll use the remove method with Olivia as the argument. Now that the list is up to date, let's find out how many members we have in total. To count the number of items, we'll use Python's built-in len function. Running the cell displays the total number of names in the combined list. Finally, to make the list easier to read, we'll sort it alphabetically 
using the sort method. Then, to see the results, we'll print the list. After running the cell, we can see that all the names appear in alphabetical order. This problem shows how list operations like concatenation, append, remove, len, and sort work together to help us combine, organize, and manage collections of data efficiently. And that's it. Those are the solutions to our three exercises. If you followed along, great work. Practicing these concepts is how they really start to sink in. If you have any questions or topics that you'd like to learn about, let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching.